beautiful, beautiful cuts of pork. Welcome everybody to Cooking with Bruce. Today we're going to be going over how to make carnitas with an Instapot. Times are tough right now. I understand it. Things are weird, COVID 2020. But what matters is you can get one of these Boston butts at your local grocery store for check this out. I got this for about $8 a pound. Like what a fantastic deal. So what we're gonna go over today is how to make this stuff, how to serve it up and how it tastes. So we're gonna start off with some ingredients. One, eight pounds of pork butt. This is a bone in Boston butt. There's different ways of doing it, but eight pounds of, of pork product. We've got one onion. I like yellow onions, use a white onion, whatever you like. One, ga one can of diced green chilies, one can of tomato paste, and then for some seasoning. Seasoning is gonna be a tablespoon of salt, a half teaspoon of pepper, a teaspoon of smoked paprika, a teaspoon of oregano, a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of chili powder, and two bay leaves. Oh, and I forgot one of the more important things. Half clove of garlic. I like nine garlics. I have a theory that, oh, you can't really have too much garlic in a recipe. Uh, so if you wanna use a whole clove, this is about a half clove, however you wanna do it. Um, we're gonna start with cut the onion, bring it to the meat, getting the garlic taken care of, and then we'll put it all in an Instapot this will all be ready in one hour. So I'll start off with an onion. We need a whole onion. Dice it up. Now I like to do this is you cut off the very top right here. Cut it in half. Peel the onion off. I'm using a whole chunk of it. Take the other half, do the same thing. And one of the main things about this is it's delicious and it's cheap and you can use it however you want. Take the onion, dice it up. Doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be beautiful. Just gotta chunk it up. Just gotta chunk it up. This is gonna be one big pile of meat and you're talking about over eight pounds of food, feed, put it over rice, feed a family, however you need to do things. Ooh, almost cut off my finger there. All right. It's over here and now garlic. Now my eyes are burning. I should wear goggles right now. But that's just how this goes. Yeah, so back to carnitas. This is something that over here in Texas we like to eat. It goes literally with, and you wanna make enchiladas, bam, carnita meat. You wanna make tacos, bam, carnita meat. You wanna make like some eggs, carnita meat. It's literally that easy. At the end of the day, you've got food for a couple of days, freeze it for later. Oh my God, these onions. I am not doing this right. All right, so take the garlic, you peel up, mince up, and you just chop it, doing a nice rough chop on the garlic. All right, next up is the pork. Now again, it's eight pounds of pork, just cover the package. And this doesn't have to be pretty. All we're gonna be doing is putting this in an Instapot and forgetting about it for an hour. And really one of the beauties of creating an Instapot is it's done in an hour. And you can take an eight, 
a large piece of meat and make it into something beautiful. Now with this, this is a bone in. You can see right here, there's a bone. And we're gonna cut around this bone at an angle like this to give it, it's gonna fit in the, the Instant Pot a lot easier doing this. So I'm feeling for the bone. I'm just gonna cut down into this meat. Now we have two smaller pieces of meat that'll fit in an Instant Pot. All right, so we're going to start off with water, two cups of water, into the Instant Pot, can of diced chilies, can of tomato paste, mix this around, get the tomato paste in there a little bit. Now we're going to take our fork, you know this one with the bone needs going first. And the aromatics, the onion and the garlic. seasonings. Put it in the top. All right, so how to get the Instant Pot started, we're gonna do manual mode. We got 60 minutes. Make sure that the top is sealed off. This top's gotta be sealed off. And then it's going to go for one hour, and we'll revisit it just at that point. So the Instant Pot is pressurized. We're going to check out what we have. Beautiful pieces of pork. All right. So it's a little bit tough. What we're going to do is we're going to give this another 30 minutes in the Instant Pot. Um, See where we go from there, but an interesting thing is like you see how much liquid has been raised in here. So that's why you only put it in two cups. I don't know why that happens or the science behind it, but either way, it's got to go on for 30 minutes. Revisit it after that. All right, so it's been an hour and a half. I think it's probably ready by now. Oh, ho, 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 ho. beautiful, beautiful cuts of pork. Everything is bubbling. Let's see if, it, oh, meat's hanging off the, off of it. Oh, it just fell off. Oh, perfect. We're gonna have some carnitas now. Oh, I can barely pull this out without things. Oh, we've got some fall apart food here, y'all. This is ready to rock. This is some real carnitas. Oh my goodness. Really an hour and a half in a pot versus 12 hours in a pot. This is easy. Oh my God. My little dog wants some. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Eat some tortillas, make some tacos real quick. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. The pork is ready. It's been an hour and a half. What we're going to do is we're going to take a chunk of pork out here, to slice it up, and make a taco out of it. It is so tender, so flavorful. So tasty, cheap as well. Oh, I can't stand it anymore. All right. Tortilla. Whew. Some pork, some onions. Oh, a little bit of home fermented hot sauce. I'll tell you all about that a little bit later. 
let's taco this. Oh, mmm. So, mmm. What you gotta do, just a little piece of pork, put it in the pot, cook it for an hour and a half. Mmm. And make some carnages. Mmm. My name is Bruce. Welcome to Cooking with Bruce. I'll show you guys something else cool in another time. Like and comment. And while you're at it, subscribe. Dogs out here. <laughs> Who let the dogs out? All right. Holy God. Oregano. And oregano.